up, buddy? How y'all doing? My mic was not muted and I was not ready, but how y'all doing, everybody? Good to see you all. It's your man, the headset hero, aka Nate. Welcome back to Red Dead Redemption. Good to see you all. Sorry, I was on vacation in Vegas for a couple days. Uh, pretty good. Won some money, won some money. Pretty damn good. I uh, won enough to get me a TV in my bedroom and stuff, and uh, not too much money, but just enough to be comfortable with, I guess, um, pretty good time, really good time, just me and my dad, uh, pretty good time, uh, got a haircut too, because I didn't want to take all that hair with me up there, but I got that Friday, and I'm so sorry that I couldn't, uh, have enough time to upload a quick video for you guys <clears throat> of this, I was going to, but then by the time I got my haircut, it was already time for me to go, I was already running late for that, and by the time I got home, I needed a Finish up packing and head over to my parents to stay the night to head up with them in the morning. Because close, the airport is closer to their place than it is my place. But anyway, guys, good to see you all. Hope you all had a good weekend. Happy Memorial Day. Or, no, it's not Memorial Labor Day, my bad. <clears throat> but um, it's good to see you all, everybody. So last time, if I remember, we were actually... Where were we? We were uh, just on Pike's Peak, and we were trying to get that damn outfit or whatever, but uh, we couldn't get the last of it because um, it was a mission that comes back later on. Um, but I've been loving this game. I mean, this is one of my favorite games growing up as a kid. I always played it. Very beautiful game. Love it. I love that style. Rockstar makes some pretty damn good games. Um, but we're back here. We... we uh, Cheated the. Uh, heavy merchant, expert hunter. Not the deadly assassin. But, uh. Where is. There we go. There's, there's the actual outfit. But now. We need to go find Mr. Wes Dickens. Because, uh... Yeah. But we need one more time for that, uh, Deadly Assassin deal, but we will get that shortly. I'm just gonna go over to whoever's closer here, so Wes Dickens, I guess. Nigel Wes Dickens. So... Go ahead and do that first. And fly. But yeah, it was a good time in Vegas. It was a good time. Just stayed there Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Came back earlier today. The flight that we were supposed to be there on Saturday. It was uh, moved closer, so we had to wake up even earlier. Like 5 a.m. or something. To get up there. We had to drive two hours, find a parking spot, then fly for what seemed like almost three hours, even though it was like a two-hour flight. But coming back, it only seemed like an hour and 15 minutes. Um, but another thing is, uh... place itself was awesome. We got turned around a few times, because we haven't been there in a while. I've been there in 2016 when I was a little, a little bit younger. But, uh, yeah, definitely, uh, really beautiful, beautiful sights, for sure. There's this, uh, Ferris wheel that you can take, and it, you know, goes up really up high, so you can see all of Vegas, so. Pretty damn cool, pretty damn cool, but. Alright, Mr. West Dickey. Excuse me. Excuse me, sir, you need help? Mister, you alive? Fuck, fuck, God damn it! Good heavens! Excuse me? I said, no, I'm not okay. Do I look like I'm okay? You look pretty good for a corpse. <laughs> Crazy! <laughs> Move up, mister. Time to get you to a doctor, or an undertaker. Whichever you need. Or an undertaker. St. Peter, open up them pearly gates! I'm coming home! <laughs> Come on, mister. Come on. No! Oh. <laughs> 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 
sorry, sir. I'm bleeding like a badly butchered hog. You'll be fine. Just focus. Oh, that's where you had to keep the people off of him, I think. You Man, so race. many memories come back to this. Just sit up straight, buddy. Yeah. To Armadillo! Godspeed! Okay. What is your Armadillo. Name, friend? John Morrison. Oh, good God! Out of the frying pan into the fire! Excuse me. How many outlaws can a man encounter in one day? You must have me mistaken with somebody else, friend. They're back! I'm done for! No, you're not. Uh oh. Alright, we're gonna keep going, moving on here. I'm gonna kill this bastard real quick. There we go. Okay. Oh damn. Oh fuck. I'm going as fast as I can. Oh fuck, I don't think he's gonna make it. I think I waited too long to kill that guy. There we go. Nice. I owe you, sir. Oh, damn. I always pay my debts. Uh, Jesus. But if I die, I'm sorry for it. If not, I'll be your man for... for... Let's get you fixed up first. Then we'll decide what you're my man for. General practice. <sighs> Back after 2 p.m. today. Okay. Actually, I'm just gonna do this. Okay. Well. We just have to wait till the American appetite. Okay. But I think that's a cannibal or something because you keep you keep seeing body parts around. Ah, since you're here, you want to make yourself useful? Not particularly. Listen, son, I know you got a mission. Right now, I need another gun. Why? What's happening? I've had this problem for months with this group of bandits who are getting drunk and murdering settlers. Last night, they went to a big place up near Ridgewood. They burnt the place down, killed the men, burning most of them alive, and raped the women. Women folk then got their throats slit. One of them survived and walked in here this morning. Anyway, we got a posse gathering up near Ridgewood. Will you ride with us? All right. Thank you, John Marston. It's gonna be a bloody job. Huh. I don't think I know any other clients, sir. Dok. Let's hit the breeze, boys. Marston, 
I hear you caught up with Mr. West and Dickens. I did. For a man who claims to have found a remedy to all ailments, he was in pretty bad shape. His tonic has helped a great many people. It's a medical breakthrough from the East, the result of years of research. If only it could cure him of his diarrhea of the mouth. I wouldn't be so dismissive of science if I was you. Times is changing fast. He's no more a scientist than I am a priest. But people can spend their hard-earned money however they please. He's certainly a character, that West Dickens. I can't understand a goddamn word he said. A more flannel mouth Funko artist I've never met. Look at them vultures circling up ahead. We should check it out. Marston, Eli, go see what it is. Oh shit. Ain't no survivors here, Marshal. Man, this don't look too good. Somebody was so busy killing people, they went and dropped their gun. I also heard they're making a Red Dead Redemption 3 as well. Man, more dead bodies. In the works. So I'm excited to see that. Must still be Come on. Let's go. Come on, let's ride. They kind of got too far. Sons of bitches. Didn't you want to run a game to outlaw Mars? Yeah, but not like that. It wasn't our way. At least it wasn't my way. Killing and thieving's never right, boy. No matter how you dress it up. Unless it's ordered by a court of law, you mean. Can't see a soul anywhere. This ain't right. Let's search the area. So in the shed. Oh shit. Holy sweet mother of mercy. Please, please don't shoot me. Some bandits came by and took us hostage. They're holed up in the farmhouse. Some of my family is being kept hostage inside. <laughs>
soon as you can, make a run for the shed. Keep your head down. No, don't worry, Marshall. I got it. God damn it. Oh, freaking camera angle. Oh, no. Okay, don't screw me on this camera angle. I'm waiting for you in the shed out back. Make a run for it when it's clear. Thank you. They said they were gonna kill us all. Look like that's all of them. Let's see how the hostages are doing. Oh shit. I didn't kill you before, but I sure as shit will now. Get yourself down here, Bill. You know you ain't man enough to stop me. You know I don't want to kill you, but I will. You always did have a high opinion of yourself, John. <laughs> Dutch always said you were an arrogant son of a bitch. I guess he was about right. Get him, boys! Everybody, take cover! In that shed! All right. Kill those rapists. I told you 
why I want no one back. Hey, look what I got here. There's something that you're still breathing. Come here, boy. Come on, Bessie. Give. Oh. Norman Deke. Nice to see you again, buddy. Thanks for your help, John. Norman here is gonna help us get to Bill. Ain't you, Norman? Thank you, Mr. Dick. Mighty kind. Fuck you! Hog time. Let's get him to jail. Hell yeah. Let's go. Let's go see Dickens, I guess. For some reason, I thought I killed John there for a minute, but... It's just one of his bandits. Oh, come back up here too. Okay. Let's just go see Bonnie then. Come on. on the road again. Man, I miss this game. So many memories, man. Freaking crazy. Excuse me. Nice looking buck there. Well, hello, Mr. Marston. How are you? Fine, thank you. Something. You? I'm fine, thank you. Did you meet my father? John Marston, this is my father, Drew McFarland. Pleasure to meet you, Mr. Marston. Please. So, my daughter informs me that you're here on some secret mission to remove some undesirables from the county. Something like that. I'm grateful, I'm grateful for the hospitality, for the hospitality sir. sir. <laughs> well, we've lived here for 30 years now. Came here from the east. The land had never been settled. For 10 years, we fought the Indians. Tough men. And we had outlaws. And we had drought. We had smallpox. Terrible winters. Colorado. 
I'm very more my children than I raised. Sorry to hear that, sir. I've seen strong men wither and die under that unforgiven sun. That whole herd of cattle take sick and die. But I've never once doubted my life here. No, sir. When I hear about this so-called federal government sending out agents to covertly murder and control people, then I start to worry. I mean, yeah, all right, Williamson is a menace. And men like him are the plague. But isn't a government agent a worse menace? And all that symbolizes, I mean. You may be right, sir. Well, you're a brave man. You're always going to be welcome here. But you tell your friends out east that we don't want to live like that out here. Sneaking around and spying and secret missions. Preposterous. Trust me, sir. I agree with you. Good. <laughs> well, we won't insult you any further. Come on, Bonnie, we got things to do. Mr. Marston, do you want to join us? It's Daddy's favorite pastime. Apart from political discourse, that is. What is it? Breaking in horses. Come on. I hear you're a pretty decent rider. For a city dweller, that is. <laughs> You're gonna need this, Mr. Marston. Let's see if we can put that new lasso of yours to good use. That ranch man said there's a pack of wild horses nearby. Yeah. I think I took the wrong horse. Doing, sir. Ain't theories, ain't theories Mr. Marston. Marston. I saw the telegram Marshall got from Blackwater. It ain't exactly a state secret, sent you. Well, is he wrong? I saw those men from the train. The government can go to hell if you ask me. Those sons of bitches would steal a coin off a of dead man's eye. Mr. Marston! He's right. Now, I don't know much about politics. Please, Paul, can we just enjoy the ride? But I know we're only as free as they say we are. Power's like a drink. The more you have, the more you want. And there's few men that can handle him. There's certain things in this country a woman could do much better if you ask me. I ain't gonna argue with that, Miss McFarland. Oh, yep. Damn. Hold that damn Let's go. Damn. Come on, come on, nearly got you. 
<laughs> well done, Mr. Marston. These are fine horses. Hey, Bonnie. Amos was saying some horses been spotted somewhere else. The hell is that guy doing? Let's go, Mr. Marston. We can really do with those horses. No. Hey.
Sons of the name of Whoa. Move it. Come on, let's go, let's go. Move, move. Let's go. Yeah. Get a move on. Move it up. Why do they just keep going all over the place? That way, you idiot. This way. Come on. Go. Wow. Okay. Thanks for the help, guys. Thanks for your help today, Mr. Marston. We got some fine horses. You know, why don't you keep that stallion as your own, as a thank you from all of us? Thank you, ma'am. He's a fine animal. Meow. All righty. an agile horse. I like it. Nigel West Dickens. Is there going to be a, uh, another American thingy? Mm -hmm. Deadly Assassin's Crap five. Oh shit, we could do the last one now. Hell did he, everybody. We can do that shit. Let's go. 
Hopefully it's the last one, because we did like five of them. Or something. And this guy's got a lot of... She is. You okay, lady? My husband's missing. These, These bastards, bastards won't, won't do anything. anything. But he's, he's a good a man. man. He don't he drink, don't drink nor lay with horse. horse. And he's been, he's been missing for three days. Let me guess. Please. You went missing up in the hills? Hanging rock. Okay. I'm gonna be eating again. Come on, come on. Come on boy. Where's hanging rock at? There it is. It's gonna be in the same place as it was last time. And the time before that. Oh shit. City fella. Guy got kind of creepy on me. And then he got violent. When? Just now. Uh, he ran off that way. Can't have gone too far. If I find him, I'll bring him back this way. Thank you, mister. <laughs> What's wrong with you? Oh. Where the hell are you going, bud? You cannibalistic fuck. This is a nightmare. <laughs> yeah. Oh shit. He I knew he was a maniac. Fellas gotta eat now. Fellas got to eat. <laughs> Save me from this freak, please. Please. <laughs> Damn you all! This would be a fair fight if you could shoot straight. My apologies, mister. Sorry, man, I can't cut you. Oh, uh, yeah, I can. Hold up. Can I not cut you free? Back to your wife. Oh shit! All right, deadly assassin now. Coming to the west, did I regenerate twice as fast? Ooh, that's freaking awesome! Hell yeah! Where's my horse at?
Okay, so now I need to go to... Where can I... House. Perfect. Don't need this anymore. That was weird. Very weird indeed. Let's go. I like how in the first one you customize like their horse hair and everything else. Pretty damn cool, but also gotta keep in mind this game came out in 2010. It was one of the biggest games ever. <sighs> Excuse me, sorry guys. Yeah, this morning we also had to wake up like five or something to catch our flight again. And it's like an hour time difference. So yeah, I'm a little tired. This guy's freaking zooming. Bum bada bum bada bum 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 Excuse me guys, I apologize. Come on, my door is freaking wide open. Nice. Where can I? Yeah. I not save my game. This is a safe house, isn't it? There it is. Got an eye patch and everything. We look badass, man. Hell yeah. We might as well do one more Bonnie mission and then. That should be good. Oh, 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 oh. She's not at her ranch, though. Damn, this is a badass outfit. Hell yeah, I'm glad we got it. Tempest looms. Come on, come on, let's go! Hey, Get him in there! Come on, come on! Hey, Amos! Hey, miss. I got most of the horses secure and the chicken. Well, thank you, Amos, but it's the herd I'm worried about. I know, they're scattered all over the valley and beyond. The weather is coming in real fast. So what do you suggest, Amos? We leave the herd out there to be scattered by the storm and ourselves left here to die with... God, we look badass. Can I help? No, miss. If the men get caught out in that storm, they're gonna die. And if we lose our herd, we'll all die, you stupid man. Doesn't sound like we're left with much of a choice then. Come on, Amos. Round up your men. Let's get the herd. Dang. Let's go. We don't have 
Oh, Bonnie's going with us too. I'm sorry, doggy. Uh, my bad. I'm starting to think somebody up there is conspiring against me. Are you a religious man? Not in any real sense. Sometimes I tell myself things happen for a reason. Like what brought me here was fake come a calling. But nobody made my path for me. We all need to look for answers somewhere. Some in big old books, others in big old bottles of whiskey. Believe it in some kind of divine purpose ain't gonna give me my wife and kid back. Past is who we are, Miss McFarland. There ain't no Excuse changing me. that. Faith is a luxury I can't afford. We have two herds out grazing in different pastures. We'll need to merge them and bring them all back. I think we can handle that. The cows get real ornery in bad weather. It's more work, but I'll show you how to deal with them. I'm gonna save my voice for the herd. It's gonna be hard shouting over this storm. Easy now. Hey. Get a move on. Come on. Move on. Move on. Move. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Get go. Come on. Let's go. Stay together, young animals. Move. Move. Oh my god. No, 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 no. Hey. No. No, 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 no. Come on, come on, come on. Not that way. No. No, you fucking idiot. Move, come on. No, stop. Let's go. God damn it. No. Boy. No. Get your nice ass over there. Come on. That fucking sucks. I can save all of them. Well, we couldn't. Apparently, I don't Thank listen. We only lost a oh. Now let's round up those credits. Move! Let's go! Come on! Let's go! Let's go! Hurry! We gotta move that bird! Please, Mr. Marston, help me round up the crackers! Get go! Come on! Alright, let's get him back to the ranch before anything else happens. Let's go! Stay together, you dumb animals!
Oh, I hate this mission. Because no one else helps you, it's just you. <laughs> All the rest of them are just riding with you. I just want to get some rest. Let's go. Save my game. Slow down. Save game. Save called? What's the save called? Tempest looms. Okay. All right, buddy. Well, that's where I'm gonna end it. That's a good place to stop on Tempest looms. We heard the cows. We got our deadly assassin, assassin outfit, and we're good to go. So, this. Uh, <coughs> sorry. Went down the wrong hole. But make sure you stay tuned. For another episode tomorrow, whatever. Uh, yeah, tomorrow. Um, heck yeah, guys. It's good to see you all. Hope you are doing well. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and we will continue this in the next episode. So, thank you, buddy, so much for watching. Love you all. Stay safe. Bye bye.